Child, cue the darn gone music, baby. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Honey, but she was like, hold on, wait a minute. Honey, she held on for at least almost four years, honey. But Kelly and Conray, you, you read and write, is leaving the White House. And the excuse is to focus on family. Most of us don't have that luster, honey. You darn gone right. Most of us can't have political uh, disagreements and darn gone step down from our jobs as results. Although other stuff will cause you to leave, such as what happened to me earlier. Y'all look at my past videos if y'all want to know that, T. But, um, yeah, let, let's go ahead and get into the articles, y'all. I'm just going to give y'all a quick summary. So, I'm just... um. Glossing over real quick, y'all can pause at any point, and I'm just going to give y'all my quick thoughts of this. So, and this is from the Boston Globe. And I want to say both of this was reported, yep, this is, oh, this was reported today, August 26th. And this was the 24th, why Kellyanne and George Conway finally went dark, honey. And this one's quite lengthy as well. I will leave the links to both of them below. So pretty much to summarize this within a quick five minutes, honey, the mama is a huge Trump supporter. The father is a strong Republican as well, but is anti-Trump. To the point where he done set up a whole anti-Trump pack, honey, called the Lincoln Pack. I guess he's trying to bring the goodness back with the darn gone Republican Party by calling it the Lincoln Pack, baby. Uh, but I digress, honey. But then you got the daughter, who's a straight up, uh, uh, I would say liberal. Because not only is she against her mother's uh, 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 um, position at the White House and all of that, honey, she's against the president in every shape and form. Honey, she's pro-LGBTQ. She's pro-Black um, Lives Matter. Pretty much, she's the same one out the darn on family. Yet, they trying to uh, have her go off social media as well. So, both Kellyanne Conway and George Conway say they are respectively stepping down from their positions. He's stepping down from his anti-Trump group. And she's stepping down from, you know, being a, a advisor to the White House. Honey, I, I, I sense there was some darn gone family tension if that was about to hit the fan. Honey, they was about to darn gone kill each other before election time, honey. And they said, you know what, as a compromise, you know, this is just my thoughts, y'all. This ain't going to be presented as fact. But, honey, I, I, I'm thinking that their thoughts was, you know what, let, let us all get off social media. Although, I wonder why they had to take the darn gone daughter off. The daughter was darn gone speaking perfect sense. But, honey, they went and snatched her on all too. Done took her off of TikTok and everything, honey. Hips TikTok when they danced. Honey, she was speaking that truth, baby, on the TikTok. And they could not darn gone take it no more. Take it no more, no more, no more. Honey, done took darn gone poor Claudia Conway off of the darn gone TikTok, honey. 15-year-old Republican announced her wish to seek emancipation from her parents, claimed years of childhood trauma and abuse, honey. Now, all of a sudden, she's going dark in the heat of the night. Uh, just all within the heat of the night, all of them want to just go dark. And like I said, she's the only one uh, speaking about progressive causes like LGBTQ rights and Black Lives Matter. You you supposed to be the advisor, mama. We ain't heard you speak on none of them darn gone causes. You supposed to be the advisor to the president. Your daughter got more common sense than you do. So I'm sensing there was some family tension in the midst. And so I guess all of them are now in darn gone therapy, honey. And, you know, I guess Claudia's in that darn gone Hillary Clinton-like position. Y'all know Hillary Clinton grew up with two Republican parents. And she was a, you know, she was a strong liberal, well... I shouldn't say liberal. She was the strong Democrat out her family. And so I guess, you know, we got another Hillary in the rising. Although, you know, on a much better note, y'all. You know, Hillary got her faults. But we ain't going to go into that. But what are y'all thoughts on this, y'all? What are y'all thoughts on uh, Claudia, 
George and Kellyanne Conway all stepping out. Uh, Claudia off of TikTok, George off of the Lincoln Pack, and Kellyanne from Durgon. Y'all stupid ass president, as Forrest Rocks would say. The, uh, so I guess they all in Durgon therapy trying to rationalize. See, this is why you don't speak on politics. Honey, I don't even talk to my own family about politics because, honey, you know that all, nearly all of them vote blindly blue, honey. They vote, they vote blue all straight down the ticket. They voting for that stupid ass Sleepy Joe. And y'all done heard my darn on thoughts on Sleepy Joe and of Donald Trump. So due, due to that, you know, I don't go into politics. And that's how it used to be where you, you didn't speak too freely on your politics and you was able to maintain some peace amongst your family. Because you, you just kept your thoughts to yourself with the polls. But now, while everybody being so open and stuff, you know, it, it, it's somewhat bittersweet. Because it's like, yeah, you want to share your your thoughts and stuff with like-minded people on social media. But then here's the bad side of this. Especially when you come from a, a, a prestige family. Well, I shouldn't necessarily say prestige. And ain't nothing really prestigious about this. But, you know, from a notable family such as the Conways, honey. The, the, the darn gone kind of ass Conways, honey. But anyways, y'all leave y'all thoughts on this darn gone trifling situation. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, freedom of <laughs> expression either way over here. So you do as you wish. Feel free to share, comment, and I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mm -hmm.